Hi, my name's Scott from OnlineIncomeRiver.com and today I'm going to show you a quick video on how to create a website in five simple steps. So just to give you a quick overview of what this video will cover, the five steps of creating a website are registering a domain name, purchasing web hosting, installing WordPress, installing a WordPress theme, and then publishing your first piece of content. So let's go ahead and get started. To get started, you're going to go to www.onlineincomeriver.com slash hosting. And this is a redirect link that will redirect you to the hosting that I use. And if you go through this link, it is an affiliate link, which means I'll earn a commission if you end up making a purchase through this hosting company. You can also click the link right below this video, and that will take you there as well. So let's get started. All right, so here we are at HostGator.com. And with HostGator, we're going to register our domain name and purchase web hosting. So we're going to click View Web Hosting Plans. And then they're going to show us the three plans that they offer. And we're going to choose the middle plan, the baby plan. And the reason that we're going to do this is because there's unlimited domain names. The cheaper option, you can only have a single domain name. So if you decide you want to have a second website, then you have to buy additional hosting. Where with the baby plan, if you start a second website, you can host it right on the same account. So we're going to click order now under the baby plan. So then on the next page, over here in the top left, we're going to enter our desired domain name. So again, this should be easy to remember, easy pr to pronounce, and easy to spell. So the website I'm going to create today is learn how to start a website. Dot com. You could do .net or .org, but .com is the better option here. Now before you click continue to step 2, come down here to your coupon code. The spring coupon code will give you 20% off, but if you enter Income River 25, that will bump that 20% to 25%. And now you can go on and continue to step 2. Now if your domain name is already taken, the next page it will give you a warning and tell you and you have to try a couple different domain names until you get one that works. So when you get one that works and you click continue to step two, we get on to the billing information. So again, we're here with the baby package, which is what we want, and then we can choose the billing cycle. So with the 25% off, the longer you prepay for, the more you save. So you can pay from one month to 36 months and you can see how the price decreases the longer you pay. So keep in mind though that you'll be expected to pay the lump sum of those number of months. So you'll pay 36 months up front. So probably the six month is a better option. If you only want to do one month, then instead of Income River 25, put Free Income River and that will give you the first month for free on that last page. So we're going to do six months and now you're going to enter a username and security pin and then the billing information. So down here in the billing, I won't make you go through all this right now, but you can choose credit card or PayPal, which for me, PayPal is easier and we'll sign right in. And then down here, it's going to give you a summary of what you're about to pay for. So the package for six months is $59.70, but we saved $14.93 with our 25% off, and it costs us $15 to register that domain, and that's for a year. So we'll have that for a year, regardless of how long we did the hosting and then there's no price to set up so that gives our total price and then we click create account so now if you're paying with PayPal it'll bring you to this screen where you want to click pay now to make your payment through PayPal this will redirect you to the PayPal site you put in your PayPal account information and then once you've done that it's going to bring you to this next page that doesn't give us a lot of information but what we need to do now is just wait so we're going to get an email to that email address that you filled in under your billing information. For me this process took about three to four minutes before that email came. So what we're looking for is an email that says sales from hostgator.com. We're going to click on that and there's a few important things in here. First it's telling you about your billing account which is where you access your billing information and this has a separate password from your website's control panel. So as you look down here the next link will take us to our control panel. It will show us the username that you had chosen. It will show us the domain name that we registered. And then the password, this password is to log into the control panel. So this is one that right now 
we want to copy and paste so we're going to copy that and then you're going to click on the link to your control panel so we click on that link and here we are at the C panel so again my username was Scott10 and we're just copy and pasting that second password they gave us to log into the control panel so now we're logged in step one and two of the process are completely done uh, now we move on to step three which is installing WordPress and this control panel can be overwhelming but really the only thing you need to know right now is how to install WordPress and get your website up and running so we're gonna scroll all the way down here to software services and there's really two options I'm just gonna show one here you can use Fantastico this little smiley face you can also use quick install both are easy for the purposes of this I'm gonna just use quick install we click here and then over here on the left you'll see blog software and again we want to use WordPress for its power and ease of use and it's free so there's a little blurb here about WordPress we're gonna click continue it's gonna automatically put in the website if you want it to be an extension of your website like dot com slash blog you could put that here usually it's better to just leave it as it is and that way your main home page will be your blog or website so you're gonna enter your admin email your admin username the blog title your first name and your last name then we're going to click install now it's as simple as that so then you see this process flies right along and then congratulations now important again they've given us another password so we've got my username and my password I'm going to copy and paste here and you're going to change these passwords to something that you remember but for now we'll just keep them what they are and you can log into your new website by clicking here so we click here and there you have it your first website learn how to start a website and right now it's just another WordPress site because that's the default there's one post put in here already but we're gonna show you how to change that so the first thing you want to do is log into your WordPress control panel or your admin panel and the way you're gonna do that is come up to your address bar and add you're gonna add WP for WordPress hyphen admin click enter and now we're at our WordPress and remember this is a different password than what we were at for our cPanel so I use the same username and then I'm copying and pasting that password that they just gave me I'm gonna click login and now we're on our dashboard this is where you control everything through WordPress the first thing we're gonna do is learn how to install a WordPress theme so you can find themes right here in WordPress you can also find free themes online and then you can also pay for premium themes which are themes that are developed by professionals and are a little bit more customizable so to get you started you're gonna go over here on the left to appearance and then click themes and here we have two themes that are installed 2011 which is the default and then down here already installed is also 2010 we're going to click install themes and you can search for a number of themes you can search by colors columns width whatever you'd like and these are all themes in the wordpress database you can also if you know one already you can search for it here or you can also upload one if there's something that you found online somewhere else which is what i'm going to do and i already looked this up online i just typed in free premium themes which in theory gives you some themes that have a little bit more design power and then I'm going to click browse here called retrofitted and then we're going to click install now so it's going to go through a process of unpackaging the theme and installing it and then it was installed successfully now I'm going to click preview so now it gives me a nice clean design and it still shows me that original post and I'm going to add a new one here so we're going to close here and we're going to activate that theme and now it shows you 
the theme we're currently using, and then those other two themes are down there. That didn't cost me anything, and now I've got a new website that looks good and it's easy to use. So then you want to make your first post. We're on the last step of the process to create a website, so what we're going to do now is head up here to Posts, and then you're going to say Add New. Now here we're going to give it a title. This is my first post. That's the title I'll give it. And then we're going to put some content in here. So this is my first post on my new website. I hope you enjoyed learning how to start a website. Please remember to rate this video, comment, and subscribe. Thanks. So then I'm going to click Publish. And then up here in the top, you're going to say Visit Site. Now we've got a new theme. Our first original post is there, which you can take out. And then we've got our new post that we just put in. So there you have it. In five easy steps, in a few minutes, you created your first website, and you're ready to go. Please take a moment to rate this video, comment on this video, or subscribe to my channel. Thanks, and good luck.